Welcome to Chemistry Tutorial 360. We are going to balance this reaction. This is sodium, this is hydrochloric acid, and this is sodium chloride, and this is hydrogen. Okay, to balance this reaction, I can draw a table like this, right? So, on the left hand side, we have one sodium here. Here we have one hydrogen. Here we have one chlorine, right? Okay. On the right hand side or product side, here we have just one sodium. Here we have one chlorine. Here we have two hydrogen. Okay, here are Sodium is balanced, 1, 1. Hydrogen here, 1, 2. So hydrogen is not balanced, but chlorine is, is balanced here. So to balance the hydrogen, I can multiply here by 2. That gives me 2. So hydrogen is balanced, but these two must come before this hydrogen that is here. So you have to place here 2. If you place here 2, the number of chlorine will be changed. That is, you are getting here 2 chlorine atom. So you can you are getting here two chlorine atom right okay uh, now our chlorine is balanced hydrogen is balanced but our chlorine is not balanced here we have two but here we have one so to balance the chlorine I can multiply here by two right and these two must come before this chlorine that is here if I place here two the number of sodium will be changed that is I am getting here two sodium Two sodium well so, uh, here our chlorine is balanced our hydrogen is balanced uh, sodium is not balanced so to balance the sodium I can multiply here by 2 that uh, that gives me 2 and these two must come before this sodium that is here right so this is the balanced reaction but here I would like to show you another way to balance this reaction reaction so that you can apply this technique in your examination hall. So this is sodium, this is ACL, right? What you look at, you will get uh, uh, sodium chloride plus hydrogen, right? Here you see you have two hydrogen, but here we have one hydrogen. So these two hydrogen will come from this ACL but if you if put here 2 the number of chlorine will be changed so here you have to put here 2 if you put here 2 the number of chlorine will be 2 that comes from here so this is the balanced reaction right so by applying such type of logic you can balance your balance this reaction in your examination hall so thanks for being this video be well